It's called off key. All her cigarettes got a hip. Twists it off her thumb, pill rolls it between her fingers, then lights up. Inhales company. She shakes like a leaf, eating crisp cut tobacco leaves instead of breakfast, thinks she'll feel lighter for it, and dances on her way to the bathroom. I hear that if you put your ear to the ground where she walks, her feet make music out of the asphalt. Moonlight left footprints in that girl's eyes, so I asked Buzz to make a copy of his key for me, and he just laughed threw his head back so hard it skipped three times across Lake Michigan and she made a picnic out of the happy hour, right there at Gilson Beach. Got too comfortable with stains on her clothes, dirty blankets and pockets rang like wind chimes from all the bottle caps she finally stopped trying to hide and I heard she met you back when it was just baby teeth, rattling in a tin can full of change. That sound reminded her of the answers. The screaming silence she holds seances to plug her ears with, the voice on the other side of a phone call from two summers ago, and the holy sedative from the doctor. The perfect martini medicine cabinet that cut the grocery list in half for her and made most of the questions lose their gnashing staccatos, their kneecapping string section. She put those bottles in her nightstand and she is full of chemical. More salt than answer, but still she takes them every day. Says she falls asleep better with the TV on. Each day, the mailman drops a post through the letterbox at around noon, and she calls it high time to hit the bottle. Like baseball bat, machine gun, head-on collision, her lips the shape of whiplash, and misses most calls from her mother and her father, one a different reason than the other, and she doesn't need it. Her throat's always sore because of it, but still, the garbage man comes every Monday, and she likes pretending she has aphasia. Spits out chewed up Scrabble letters when anyone asks her why she won't just take a drink of water, but a six letter word for lonely is just lonely. Can't get directions when no one understands the accent solitude has given your English. She's always taking these drives on the interstate, so I think she's a medium. For all the dead dogs on the side of the highway that split Illinois with a handle of hope, eyes milky and sleeping like a harvest moon. She told me once that the Dan Ryan merges to a back road if you take it out far enough into the country, and I hear it's paved with every apology she's ever received. Back there, the gravel stings like a choir of empty pockets if you're lucky enough to skin your knees on it. She's nine years deep in a tongue twister that will never touch down, never touch the ground, never lift a home from its roots and spin it like a good plot twist, just tumbleweed on a spin cycle that she forgot to set an alarm to go pick up from the laundromat all those years back, where she left her roll of quarters, and a handful of her baby teeth, and a pair of jeans with empty pockets, and she's always breathing heavy, like a marathon runner at mile marker, name one. No one told her just how far she'd have to go on her own, and the car broke down all the way back there, and so she just ran like 16 miles with nicotine lungs, never taking a break for the breath, only pausing to close her eyes, clasp hands in consecration, and hum the verse about Summerland for the feather she caught in the air floating aimlessly next to the shoulder or divide without the song it belonged to, or the patch of fur glued to the pavement, kissed into the earth by some unknowing 18-wheeler, so she gives the highway patrolman something to think about all the way home, past his driveway, past his keys in the door, past turning out the nightlight and even getting up to start again in the morning too, saw her there at the gas station, didn't say anything to her at the checkout. The clerk gave her the total and her response felt too enigmatic to fit into a conversation in a convenience store checkout line, her cadence incongruent with the rest of the feet in the room, tapping out the rhythm for her and she's blinking like a seance. People pass her on the street like a past due bill and she gets real wound up over the thought that no one will ever see her for what she really is. No one will ever really want to. Instead, just glance and look away. And I want to ask her about grade school. I want to ask her if she ate today, if she's called a friend, if she still thinks she takes up too much space. I want to ask her if she believes in plot twists, wishbones, and two sides of the same coin, and third and fourth and fifth chances. Remind her why she's always giving change to the homeless people, even though she needs it for the laundromat needs it for the carousel, needs it for the toll on the bridge. I want to ask her why she's always taking that bridge home when she knows the other way is faster. I want to ask her if she's waiting for a night with less bystanders watching her more. Ask her if she really thinks she'll go through with it one day, if she really is stuck on the wrong side, but she likes to pretend she has aphasia. Shrugs her shoulders and purses her lips into a highway as if to say, there are some things I must already know. She's still trying to spit out all the rest of her baby teeth. The answers, the pocket change. She's still trying to untangle the clothes she picked up from the laundromat all those years back. 
when the moon gave a midnight nudge to her tired ankles to keep dancing, keep making that lonely song, that melody no one hears but the asphalt and the dead dogs laid out across it on the shoulder of those two lonely and empty roads. It's okay that you can't stay clean. Put in one more quarter and save the rest for a jukebox so that someday someone might hear you sing. The ballad of your callous feet, your eyes echoing a holy bass line, keep singing. To the backs facing you, the averted eyes, cross fingers clutching rosaries, the street corner castaway pleading, have mercy, with a shopping cart full of alarm clocks to the interstate traffic in full stop, keep singing. If only for the belief that one day, even by mistake, someone will again make safe house out of the way you speak. Find port in the storm, maybe asking for a road map, for directions like the mother who locked her knees like a front door years back, committing the soles of her feet to a street corner when everyone insisted, let's go this way, because she swore she'd just seen ghosts in you. Seen girls she buried before her first words could start to sound like aphasia. A child that never grew old enough to form a habit that you could smell on her breath. She swore you had the same French braid she put in her daughter's hair for communion before she passed. Same laugh like violin strings, same eyelashes made of dandelion wishes. It has to be you. Your voice matches the pitch of the same tuning fork she left in her own spine to find you. Seance, medium, you can bring chorus to a graveyard, bring warmth to a memory that was cold in the ground. So keep singing because behind the screen, Behind the hope, the side of the road, the other side of the seance, everything on the other side, your exhale is breathing company into the ones who have had no visitors since the last time someone left flowers at their headstone. It'll hurt, but keep singing. Keep howling, walking, trudging, dragging if you have to, but promise me you will keep singing. To those dead dogs on the side of the highway, with those blessed collars and those moonlit eyes that don't see light anymore but can still listen with one ear to the earth and hollow heart for a voice on the other side of breath calling out, I can still see you. You can still come home like flashlight in the flood, giving names to all the things that have been lost, names to things that are already gone, ellipses to all the endings, handing out third and fourth and fifth chances to every survivor waiting out the storm in the shelters and giving hope to all the owners with leash in hand, but no luck finding the name on the collar, last seen hitchhiking all the way to Texas with a bag of milk bones and a whistle that nobody could hear, keep singing for that one single harmony, maybe tin can out and on their last dollar, Scrawled out on cardboard a single question that says, is there anyone, anyone who can hear me? As bankrupt as her hands, empty and waiting for something to hold.